Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. Today we're going to work out how you can declutter your yarn. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. We're going to declutter yarn today and I've got a few ways you can do this so don't panic and think I'm just going to teach you one thing. I've got lots of ideas for you. I've been knitting for 40 years, so I have been decluttering my yarn and I've been decluttering yarn with my mum for many of those years. And you just have to go through it every few years or even every year. So I've tried it in different ways, so I've got lots of different options for you. So you can try one of these or a few of them together. So if you're new here then, do subscribe, even if you're not new here and you've watched a few videos, subscribe as well and click on the little bell for notifications so that whenever I release a new video, YouTube will let you know. Um, I release a new video every Tuesday every week, so it would be great if you could come back and watch some more videos. We can keep on knitting together. Now then, how can we declutter our yarn? I do have an extra tip for you at the end. I'm going to be doing holding a yarn declutter in May. We're all going to get together um, virtually online and declutter yarn together. So hold on for the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can join that. So the first option is to do something that I'm sure many of you will know. And that is to do a Marie Kondo on it. Brand new for a series on Netflix. Of course, that teaches you to get everything out at once. So yes, get all of your yarn out. Put it on the craft room floor, put it on your dining table, put it on your spare room bed. Just get it all out and look at it all at once. And then you may stand there and go, why have I got so much baby yarn? I don't knit for babies anymore. Look at all that sock yarn. I completely forgot I had some of that. Getting it all out and not having it kind of hidden below other bits of, um, below other balls of yarn means that you can actually see what you've got. You'll see it all at once and you can decide what you do and you do not want to keep. That is a great way to do it. That is your first option. The second way I'm going to suggest that you try and declutter is to actually do it one stage at a time. And the first stage is how about you go through your works in progress. This might be because you've got six or seven bags of projects that you're just sitting there waiting to get finished and they've got five or six balls of yarn in each maybe and you're going to go through them and you're going to say I don't actually want to finish that but I'll keep the yarn and that means that all of that yarn can then go and be decluttered with everything else too. You may even find three projects that are so near to being finished that you could finish them in a week. So Get on with it, enjoy it, love decluttering that too. But do them first and then you can have a look at the rest of your yarn. The third option, I'm going to say, how about you sort one type at a time? And this is also great because you can then um, store those one type at a time. You can have different boxes for those types of yarns. Now, the first way you could do this is in different weights. You could have a box for chunky yarn, box for your sock yarn, and then you can make sure that you know where you're going when you want to look at them and find a new yarn for a new project. You could sort them in brands of yarn as well. If you um, use generally uh, maybe Rowan, maybe Drops yarn, maybe you use Sublime yarn, um, if you've got three or four different brands that you generally, that's the only type of yarn that you ever buy, then that would be a great way to sort them out. And it's a great way to sort them, great way to tidy them up and decide whether or not you want to declutter any of those little bits as well. You may want to sort them by fibres. Do you generally speaking only knit with cotton and bamboo in the summer, but you love knitting with your wool in the winter? That means that you can have them separated and you'll know which one, which collection of yarn you need to go for at which time of the year. That might be an easy way to do it. Maybe also that you knit with wool when you're doing feral knitting and you knit with bamboo and cotton when you are knitting for babies. It could be that simple. How about colours? You can create a fabulous display with colours of yarn. I will link to a Pinterest board that I have um, created which is all about sorting out yarn and there are some amazing options there if you want to sort your yarn out in different colours. It doesn't matter which brand or which fibre they are, they're all in different colours, you'll know what they are and you know you can go and find what you need when you're looking for new yarn for a new project. And the other thing, I mean, you could sort them like this, um, I kind of have mentioned this already, but you could easily sort them by, this is my baby yarn, 
this is my sock yarn, this is my crocheted cotton, that kind of thing will really sort out well. And it will mean that you're tidying them one type at a time as well. You know that you're going to tidy that type maybe this week, maybe set aside oh, another week, another hour at the next weekend to sort out a different type. And it will mean that you are really focused and you are very well aware of how much you actually have of each type when you do it like that. And the fourth way I'm going to suggest you do this is that you take longer to do it. You could say, every three items that I knit this year, two of them are going to be from my yarn stash. And that means that you can, for every one item in every three that you knit, you can go out and find new yarn and you're going to have great fun doing that. But make sure that every two items out of every three, you are using your yarn stash. You will really appreciate what you already have and you'll be more willing to just go through it and have a look and see what you can find. You may think that you won't be able to manage this because you've got your eye on so many new patterns, but you can be more creative and work out which yarns you can use, which yarns you can substitute. And maybe sometimes, if you've really got your eye on one pattern, you could find a very similar pattern that will work for the yarn you already have. There you go, that's four options for you. You can sort it all out at once, just like Marie Kondo teaches. You can have a look at your works in progress first, and then you can look at your major yarn stash after that. You could sort it out in your different weights, in different brands, in different colours, and you could say, I'm going to sort it out over a longer period of time and just reduce it by knitting with it. But there you go. Will that be helpful for you? Let me know in the comments below which one of these you might actually use for decluttering your yarn. Now I promised that we would set up Yarn Declutter in May. Now I'm going to put the link below so you can join me. I'm going to open up a Facebook group and you can come in with us. I'll have emails every week, I'll do a live video every week and we can declutter our yarn together. I do hope you'll join me for that. I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Happy knitting. <laughs>